Coming up on HDMI Test Bench, we have part two of a three-part review of THX's new HDMI interconnect cables developed in cooperation with Pixel Gen Design. This time around, we're looking at two longer lengths of all copper cables, breaking down what they're specified to do and giving them a full physical and functional workout. <laughs> How's it going home theater fans? My name is Todd with the Home Theater Forum, avnirvana.com. And today we're giving you a first look at a brand new series of cables manufactured through a partnership between THX and Pixel Gen Design. Pixel Gen is a Canadian company that specializes in HDMI technology and they've helped craft a cable series that comes in a variety of lengths ranging from 0.5 meters, which is about a foot and a half up to 15 meters or nearly 50 feet in length. During our first installment of this review series, we focused on the 0.5 meter to 2 meter lengths because they all share the same cable thickness. In this video, we're focusing on 3 meter and 5 meter cables, which translate to 9.8 and 16.4 feet in length. Much like the shorter cables, these are all copper passive cables. We'll get to THX's active optical cable in part three of this review series. Now you might say to yourself, boy, 16 feet is getting to the outer edge of lengths for a passive cable. Now you're not really all that wrong, but Jack McDougall, owner of Pixel Gen Design says they were very careful in the design process to develop cables that perform without error, all the while not doubling up on technologies for a specific size. And they did so to keep things simple for you, the buyer. So in the case of the five meter or 16.4 foot cable, the added expense of optical technology isn't needed to achieve a high quality connection at that length. Hence, you'll only find one version of the cable and that's what I'm holding right here. Last month, we interviewed THX's Stephen Martz and Jack McDougall of Pixel Gen Design on our AV Nirvana live stream show. I'll drop a link to that in the description. There's all sorts of tech talk and background information about the THX Pixel Gen relationship and the development of these cables. If you enjoy that sort of detail, definitely go and check it out. All right, so back to our review. Here's a look at some of the features promised by THX with its HDMI cables. You can see they're up to 48 gigabits per second, which allows for 8K 60 Hertz video, HDMI 2.1B compliance. So assuming you have the equipment with these capabilities, you'll be able to enjoy all of the advanced HDMI features you see on the screen. The cables are also validated to meet the highest THX standards, which include maximized 8K to 10K HDMI equipment compatibility, in-system reliability, stringent fitness to application testing, hot plugging, power sequencing, and time-lapsed pixel error testing. And lastly, THX promises the smallest cable diameter possible, ensuring minimal bend radius and encouraging maximum flexibility without compromising reliable signal delivery. Here's a look at the packaging for both lengths and you can see on the back there, it's recyclable. And THX says it specifically reached for eco-friendly materials, in this case, recyclable plastic. Now on the exterior, right there, you can see we have the Ultra HDMI certification label that's scannable. Unlike the certification badges found on older ultra high-speed cables, you don't need the HDMI app to scan these labels. Instead, all you need to do is point your phone's camera at the QR code and it will take you to a certification page showing you specs and confirmation. Always make sure you scan a cable certification label as this protects you from purchasing a counterfeit or bogus product. To open this packaging, simply tear across the top and you have access to the cable. It's very easy to open and what you find inside is a cable secured by Velcro cable ties capped by these soft plug head protectors. Now, these are pretty much unlike anything I've ever seen before on an HDMI cable. They're different than the rigid white caps you usually find. Uh, you can actually step on these with a bare foot and you won't get that kind of ouch. I just stepped on a Lego painful 
type of experience. Now you'll notice the casing on these cables is a PVC weave. And as I pointed out in the first review of this THX series, we've seen something similar on another cable that was sent to us and it didn't hold up to the stress of tight bends and rough movements. Now that's not the case with these THX cables. They're very pliable and the casing remains gripped together and married to the cable. Pixel Gen told me that's by design and that's something that they helped brainstorm with the cable manufacturing facility just to get it right uh, for the production of these cables. Okay, so let's take a look at the physical measurements. And just to note, both cables measured true to length, so no issues there. On this graphic, the three meter cable measurements are in pink and the five meter cable measurements are what you see there in white. And you can see the longer cable has a little bit more bulk. The length of its head to the end of the cable connection reinforcement is longer. The cabling is thicker and the static bend radius is just larger. Uh, you also need a bit more space between a component and a flat surface like a wall to make sure you're not putting too much stress on your HDMI port. The three meter cable needs about two and a half inches of space while that five meter cable needs about three and a half inches of space. Now, looking back at past cables reviewed that measurement for the three meter cable falls on the lower end of similar sized cables. And the five meter cable is slightly above average, just very slightly. Uh, for example, the AudioQuest five meter uh, cable had a bend to termination measurement of two and a half inches, but plenty of other cables, both shorter and longer than this THX five meter cable are roughly the same, if not requiring a bit more space. Uh, but if we're looking at static bend radius uh, all alone, both the three meter and five meter versions of this cable are right there among the best. So in terms of THX's claim that these cables are thin and flexible with a minimum bend radius, I think it's fair to say that they are quite good. To test the cable, we tap the power of Meridio's AK Fox and Hound kit, which is a high quality cable testing kit. It allows us to see exactly what kind of data the cable can pass. It's HDMI 2.1 capabilities run up to 40 gigabits per second. And there's a reason for that. Uh, most HDMI 2.1 chips you find on various equipment out there today, including televisions and receivers, uh, they operate up to 40 gigabits per second because the 48 gig chips are exorbitantly expensive at this time. Now, our Meridio 8K test kit has a price tag about 2,500 bucks. And according to Meridio, the addition of a 48 gigabit per second chip would have made it too expensive for the market. Hence, that's the reason why we're talking in terms of 40 gigabits per second in testing. And quite frankly, I feel very comfortable extrapolating performance up to 48 gigabits per second, just based on the readings that we're getting. All right, so here you can see the five meter length being tested. I tested the three meter version in the same exact manner. Before using the kit, I made sure the cables are wired correctly and have shielding in place. And what you see right there, a full bank of red lights means everything is good to go. And that was the case for both cables. Next up, we enter the kits cable test mode where I confirmed a solid five volt connection and its ability to pass the aforementioned 40 gigabits per second. And there's no issue there. Then we asked the kit to push through an 8K signal, 60 Hertz, 10 bit color with HDR10 and HDCP 2.2 engaged. In addition to all eight channels of audio, and it can do that too. And these testing scenarios went down the ladder of throughput from there, running through variations of 4K and 1080p signals, and there were zero issues. Everything performed exactly as intended. So on the test bench, Meridio's AK Fox and Hound kit gives this cable a solid thumbs up. Now to real world testing, where I tested the cable with a number of different 4K sources just to confirm its ability to hold a stable connection. Those sources included an Apple uh, TV 4K player, a Roku 4K streaming box, a Kaleidoscape Strato C 4K player, and a Panasonic UDP 824K disc player. And I ran these connections between those sources and a Storm Audio ISP uh, preamp and direct 
to a 4K display. And in each scenario, the cables held quality connections. Here's a look at a connection between the UDP A20 disc player and a JVC 4K projector playing Gemini Man in 4K 60 Hertz. This is the five meter cable. And there's our confirmation that it's pushing through exactly what's needed. So given the results of testing, the packaging, and maybe most importantly, the extremely impressive physical characteristics of these cables, both lengths, they get the test bench stamp of approval. Pricing is going to run 74 bucks for the three meter cable and 184 bucks for the five meter version, which places these cables on the mid to higher mid range uh, pricing spectrum. But if you do buy them, you can rest assured that you're getting a high quality product. I'll drop links to both of these cables in the description and you can order them directly from Pixel Gen Design. And you can do so with free shipping on orders over 99 bucks. And just the note, AV Nirvana does not receive any sort of commission from sales. All right, folks, make sure you come join our home theater community on the forums at avnirvana.com. And we'll see you next time on HDMI Test Bench.